Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I have a few things I want to share with you BJD wise and then we'll move kind of around and then first full circle to a BJD surprise. So first, I want to show you a new wig I got and it is a Leak World wig. Um, I recently got it from Denver Doll. They were having a sale. Um, they were having a Leak World grab bag that you got three wigs. You didn't get to choose color or style, but they were $35 for three, which is a great deal since they cost $28 for one normally. However, the deal is sold out, and when I went to do the deal for her, I ended up not getting the size I wanted. I originally wanted the six, six and a half, because that is a better size, but um, unfortunately that didn't work out too well. So um, hopefully, I can kind of either do a wig cap or I can do a hot glue ring around her head just to make it stay a little better. But I think this one looks pretty good. It's just is a little bit uh, too big. There was two other wigs that came with it, but I don't want to show them right now because one, I don't really like that much. And the other one is actually my favorite wig from them, but it's way too big for her. So I will show it only if I can get it to fit. Otherwise, I'll probably just end up buying the smaller size for her. Um, but I do really like the color. Um, it kind of looks like one of the limited colors that they had for her. Um, so, yeah, the only thing I don't necessarily like about the fit, other than like um, it being loose, is that, I don't know if you can see from here, but you can kind of see the wig underneath. Um, it's not the biggest deal in the world, though. So, next, I just wanted to talk about some other things. So. I recently got this uh, really cool iPhone case that looks like a Game Boy, and I wanted one for a while since I've kind of been seeing them all over the place online, in people's videos and things like that, and I just think it's so fun. Um, and I know I used to love my Game Boy, so pretty cool. Um, and I love having a bunch of different cases for my phone, so I still love the Decadent case I have, and then I have a Mickey Mouse phone I got, or Mickey Mouse case I got from Disney World, so now I have this. And I'll probably just rotate them out every once in a while. Next, I want to discuss some video games because I'm just really trying to relax during the summer um, and play some games. I have a little bit more free time since I'm not interning. I still do work and I'm going to school starting today actually to go to school right after this. But um, I'm a little more free. So right now for the PlayStation 3, I'm playing Dragon's Dogma and Tales of Grace. Yes, Tales of Graces, and they're really fun RPGs. This one, Dragon's Dog, is more like Skyrim. It's an open world RPG, lots of customization. Really fun if you like that. Then Tales of Graces is part of the Tales series, and it's more of an anime-style JRPG game. So those are both really fun. I'm also playing a lot of games on the PSN, uh, or from the PSN. Uh, Closure, which is a really good puzzle game. Uh, Skullgirls, which is a really fun fighter. And lastly, Journey, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's more like an exploration art kind of game. Also, I recently downloaded the Doctor Who game, and I'm a little disappointed with it. Um, it's pretty much just like a puzzle game so far anyway. I only played a little bit, so I will try more. But you know what? It's Doctor Who, so I enjoy. It's okay. Um, and then I'm also playing stuff on my PlayStation Vita, which is over there. Um, and I actually don't have any like real games for it right now. I just have downloadables, but I love being able to download PSP games for it. So right now, um, one of the games I'm playing is Persona 3, and I can't wait for Persona 4 to come out for the Vita. That's going to be cool. The last video game I want to talk about that I'm really, really loving is Diablo 3. However, I am having some issues with it, but I do love it. I am a level 18 wizard right now, so I'm really loving that game. I've been waiting for it for years since that was one of the first video games I really ever played. So good. Um, but unfortunately, I have so many lag issues, especially like certain areas will be worse than others. So right now I can barely play. I keep getting destroyed. Um, and I did read online that my Mac, um, it has like a low series graphics card and that is part of the problem and they're going to try and do an update because I feel like a lot of people use their Macs to play on it. And Oops, my Mac doesn't have the best video card. Um, but I figure this game isn't even high graphics, so hopefully, you know, the fix will be out soon. They actually have promised a fix for it, specifically for this graphics card that I have, so 
hopefully I don't want to have to play on a different computer or something. That would be annoying. Uh, anyway, let's go back to BJD stuff, and I want to share a surprise. So I recently decided on what girl I'm going to get, and I recently made my first payment for her. I'm paying her on layaway. And I know I said I wanted a tan girl and all this stuff, but my mind not only changes every five seconds, but also I just can never, um, I don't know, I'm always looking for different dolls and what catches my eye. And I've been looking at every brand, every company, um, and I was originally thinking, you know, maybe I'll get a Lutz Kid Delph. And then I thought, you know, I really want a tan skin, so let me do that. So I looked at all the companies and I really thought, you know, Ipple House has beautiful tan dolls and I love their dolls and I would love to have one. But I couldn't decide which one I wanted between a YID girl, an SID or an EID and I was thinking of their brand new girl Bianca or the girl that came up right before Arexi. They're both beautiful or a bigger girl like Sue or a Jessica. So, so many dolls I had in mind and I was thinking of doing their real skin. But, you know, always in the back of my mind is get a Volks doll because I've always wanted a Volks doll. However, I've realized something that's really important for me, which is body style. Um, I like a mature body, and I like something with detail. So I t tend to find that more mature type bodies have the more detail. So that's why I love my Chloe. She has a little more detail on her body. But um, I was going to go with uh, an SD13 girl, but then I was like, I really don't like their body that much. And I know that's kind of going to make me unhappy, even though... I like the head. So I decided, let me see what other limited girls I can find prices because I know they're very pricey. So I went on DOA and I saw that someone, actually not very far from me, is selling a Volks No No Winter Smile. And actually, that was a doll that I absolutely fell in love with. And I really love her body since she's on the graffiti girl body. And I've read really good things about their posability. And the body looks more detailed and really beautiful kind of like the SD16 body that I, that I really like from Volks. So I decided to go ahead and put the Volks No No Winter Smile on layaway. Um, kind of spendy, but um, definitely something I can afford. And the most important thing to kind of think about when you're doing a layaway is uh, what are the payments going to be? So I actually worked it out and how long will it take for me to realistically pay this off? But also, um, is this something that's going to make me broke? Am I going to have money? Do I, am I still able to afford things that I need to afford? Am I still going to be able to go out and do things with friends or do things with family and, and still, you know, have some money to do that? So, very important things to think about. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Be well. Be excited for Volk's Winter Smile. No, no. I know I am.